Hello everybody, welcome to episode 5. This week we're going to be talking about Blade Undead Again, issues 1 through 6. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at 2IdiotsRC, and also follow us on YouTube at 2 Idiots Read Comics, and also that's the way you can find our podcast on Spotify or anywhere else that you listen to a uh, podcast. All right, everybody, let's get into it. Let's go! And welcome to episode five. Yeah, man. We're back. Ooh. I know. And, uh, man, we, uh, <laughs> we had to figure some stuff out in between the first batch of recordings and this one. Um, hopefully this should be the first episode where we're not in stereo on I the podcast, so. yeah. which means I'm not in your left ear and you're not in my right ear. Um, and then we're filming this in pretty early July. And this week mm-hmm. I figured out how to fix the audio drift <laughs> on YouTube. So episode two and on should be working good. Um, we were going to shout out, shout out somebody. Oh, our uh, French listener. Oh, yeah. Uh, the so, only person we know for a fact that has listened to every episode that has come out so far. Yeah. Um, he's uh, somebody from France. Or she. Yeah, or she. Or, she. or whatever know. Whatever you identify as. Uh, um, but what's up, man? You're not subscribed to us. You're not yeah, liking things. Yeah, you're not things. following I us mean, on, on uh, Twitter or Instagram. Yeah. Um, I know you're listening on I think he's listening on Deezer. I've never heard of what that. Is Deezer? Uh, it's a podcast app, I okay. think. I don't listen to it. But um, shout out you, though. You've listened yeah. to every episode yeah. so far. Thank you. Yeah. And get us out there. Get us to more of your friends. Come yeah, on. Yeah, five-star reviews, everything. Yeah. Um, get us out there. We'd like to. It's going to feel real dumb if he stops listening, like, episode like three. two through yeah. four. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but. Uh, yeah. So what are we reading today? Uh, today we're reading Blade, uh, oh, yeah. Undead Again. Uh, volume 1. Volume 1. So this is, uh, it was written by Mark Guggenheim. 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 There's no L in there, but. All right. Nice yep. <laughs> what happens when we have weird names that we can't pronounce. Uh, artist was Howard Chaikin. Uh, colors by Edgar Delgado. Letters by VCs Russ Wooten. Cover by Marco Ger- Jorjevic, Jorjevic, go with that. Uh, <laughs> assistant editor Molly Laser and Aubrey Sitterson. Editor Tom Brevort. Uh, editor in chief Joe Cusada and publisher Dan Buckley. I recognize the name Joe Cusada. Yeah, he's been around the business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's probably going to go to my ignorance, but so I would think that the editor would be above the assistant editor. But then the listing, they have them differently. I don't know. Um, I'm going to be honest. You started reading. I'm glad you did all that because apparently I only wrote the writer, art, and cover. Jesus. I don't know what happened to me. But. <laughs> uh, yeah, when you look at the people that wrote it, uh, when you first look at the uh, like the initial cover, it's mm-hmm. only got like three people on it. So I went to the first actual issue cover, uh, and it gave me everybody else's names on there. So. See, I told you, then comic book people, they're iffy about giving credits. But So, so. Um, when we were first picking out what we were going to read for this month, uh, you actually texted me, and you were like, can we not do just like a mainstream character for Marvel? Can like we get into... I wouldn't call him a B-list character, but like he's definitely A-minus. not. Like, yeah, like an A minus, B plus. People forget he was one of the successful comic book movies. Just nobody knew he was a comic book right character. Yeah. Um, and Wesley Snipes' Blade movies were pretty mm, good though. Yeah, those were. Um, but yeah, so uh, we were both literally thinking that at the same time. Like, <laughs> let's get some uh non like avenger characters in yeah, there yeah Some something that y'all y'all know about but hadn't quite seen the back or read the backstories or different stuff like that and i texted you blade and you instantly went oh yes yes yeah. it's funny because i remember the movies when i was a kid and yeah but like like this is the first ever blade comic i've ever read same um 
so the only thing of Blade I knew were the three movies that came out in the early 2000s. Late 90s. Late 90s, yeah. shit. Blade 3 might have been uh, early 2000s. Man. But. but, so, I was really, real happy to get to actually read something about him. And this one was a, to me it was a little odd, but probably because I'd never read a Blade comic before. You were telling me that uh, last night when we were talking about it. Uh, what part confused you? And I don't know. It was, I guess, the, the jumping back and forth. Yeah, from they do. The, the, the time skips or the time jumps. Yeah. Um, it, when it first happened, I didn't notice anybody's names because, again, like, never read anything. So yeah. it was taking me a second to go, oh, that's Blade as a kid. Oh, that's his mother. Oh, that's mm-hmm. so-and-so. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it just took a little while to kind of mm-hmm. follow the flow. And like all six issues, like that was the way it was. Like yeah. every two pages, we'd have a flashback and then come back to reality. Flashback, come back to reality. Mm-hmm. And um, once I figured out the flow and kind of got back into or kind yeah. of paid a little more attention, it was like, okay, mm-hmm. this makes sense now. Yeah. But um, how unexpected was the Wolverine and fighting Santa Claus and – uh, there was even Morbius for a quick second in yeah, there. Yeah, and uh, Doom. Doom was, yeah, I yeah. forgot about Doom. Holy we crap. Had, I mean, in this episode, we have start off with Spider-Man, go yeah. to Doom. <laughs> oh my uh, God, I forgot Spider-Man was in it too. Go to Morbius. Then we go to Wolverine. Wolverine Wolverine has like a yeah. whole his, episode. His whole, his Two whole people that issue. live almost forever. And uh, uh, I know we're jumping forward in the comic a bit, but... uh. I think it's like issue three was the Civil War crossover, which is funny because episode oh, one, yeah. we said we weren't going to read any of the yeah, tire I crossovers. Even, I didn't even catch that for a few minutes. Walked right into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and then like at the end, Mariah Hill shows up with the shield trying to catch Blade because uh, she uses Mobius, Morbius oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. under the... Uh, oh, my God. The, the very first the, issue when... What is it called? The... Um, Whatever oh, the act that they... The, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. The Superhuman the Registration Act. There yeah, the Registration Act. So, and we didn't plan that. We no. literally just, we we found this comic, everybody liked it, and we I started reading it. And it just happens to coincide with the fact that we just did Civil War. Best Blade comics, and this was one of the ones that popped up. Yeah. That wasn't from, like, super long ago, so. But, uh... Oh, and you had mm-hmm. Dracula. Oh, yeah, Dracula yeah. in there, too. So, I mean, you've got, like, five heavy-hitting names Yeah. in this whole in this whole issue, uh, series right here. But uh, what, about, uh, what about the fact that he just fucking kneecaps Vampire Spider-Man in the first, like, four pages? You got to do what you got to do, man. Man. Like, also, I mean, I'm sure they led into it in the actual Spider-Man comic book, but how'd he get bitten by a vampire? I don't know. Who knows? Mm. Again, outside of the issues that we're reading. Yeah. So, but and either way. Not curious enough to go look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was, it was funny. In the moment, it was funny, and it yeah. was kind of good. But, um, no, the... Well, it was kind of like the what's, whole... Uh, like, what's up with S.H.I.E.L.D.? Seems like it's very easy to infiltrate S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Between is... Hydra and then, like, a whole helicarrier yeah, full like of vampires. Yeah, fucking helicarrier was infected. Yeah. And Blade's just like, eh, I already oh. planned for this. I'm going to blow y'all up. And then Mar- later on, when Mariah Hill tries to get him to go capture Wolverine, he just calls her out and he's like, how about the whole helicarrier full yeah. of vampires you had in there? Yeah. Maybe you should take care of that first. Yeah. Uh, Shield is. Jesus. For a top secret organization, it's mighty easily to infiltrate, yeah. apparently. God. But, uh, uh, the 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 doom getting meeting getting to meet doom yeah. was kind of a nice uh I, I guess a a nice little nod get to show uh oh yeah show yeah. where Blade's father came from yeah like, that long, took me, that took me a minute that, how long did it take you to figure out that it was gonna be uh that guy was gonna be his dad uh I I caught on to it when they said it but after that I like like in the first little bit. He has a secretary give him a piece of paper uh-huh. that has a sketch of Blade. Yeah. And he says, yes, he's my son. 
I was like, oh, shit. But then it took me a while to figure out that the Lucas Cross, the one that he went back yeah. in time with, mm -hmm. was actually his father. And I was like, oh, shit. He says that in issue one? And like issue one or two, he does. Yeah. Wow. I wouldn't think. The secretary that. hands him a, uh, a I was, sketch, and he says, yeah, that's my, I, I'll find my son. I was more like the uh, prophecy that was written down or whatever. Yeah, the prophecy was I was weird. trying to figure all that out. Yeah. But then it literally, like, issue four finally clicks, and it was like, the prophecy literally says, the man freed by the one they call Blade. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait a minute. And that guy got freed <laughs> by Blade when Doom was like, don't thank me just yet. That man, don't trust the man you just freed or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, wait. I know. And then I guess at uh, like some point, like issue three or four, Blade asked his mom while she's still alive or something. And he's like, uh, where's my dad? And, or like what? Or no, it was the old guy training him to be a yeah, vampire hunter, yeah. and uh, he said, "No, your uh, your dad was captured and sent to this prison." Yeah. And then it clicked, and I was like, "Oh yeah. shit!" But what got me was is when they finally show his backstory, Luke Cross backstory. Mm -hmm. He already says that his wife is pregnant yep. with his child, mm -hmm. but then he goes to prison and explains to the prisoner that he has this disease. Yeah. But it's the prison, the other prisoner was a vampire that fights him and makes him a vampire. Yeah. So how does Blade get his power? Um, Blade got his powers, and uh, like as the night she was giving birth, I think the doctor or some just random dude comes in there, bites his mom while he's still attached to the oh, umbilical okay. cord. All right, that makes sense because she she didn't survive through. No, she survived the pregnancy. Or she had complications. Yeah, I think she had complications. I have to go uh, back and yeah, look at that. That was I kinda, that was, I kinda missed, I missed. I read this part. one first and so it's kinda Yeah, it's I been guess a little I while. Look at notes, but I wrote down mainly them uh, kicking ass with all the heavy hitters. Can see Oh wait, hold on. I didn't say I didn't yeah. see if she died, but um yeah, so <laughs> She got bitten while he was still at the attachments with the umbilical cord, which is why uh, he doesn't have the he's, full yeah he's day walker sensation. yeah yeah and um, but, but oh doom hands him a vial that says that it can cure him yeah, or, or cure not his. cure him but cure his blood lust yeah and he doesn't take it no I'm trying to remember why he did, he said because as soon as his lust ends. Or it had some it, like it drives prophecy. him, yeah, or yeah, and then um, because that's what drives him to keep going or yeah. something like that. But because as soon as he like doesn't become a vampire, he just doesn't care about this yeah, world anymore. Right. And that's what he's trying to do is keep this world from falling into chaos as yeah. much as he could. Mm -hmm. Um, so the introduction of Wolverine into this was, yeah, was kind of freaky. Well, when you think about it, they've both been alive for centuries. Yeah. Uh, one, just his uh, healing factor is part of his mutant powers. Yeah. And then uh, Blade, of course, being a vampire. Right. Um, and that was kind of funny. Blade, like, just basically went into that bar. And the guy who was running the bar apparently was beating up his girlfriend. Yeah. And Blade was like, hey. Of Tyrana. Yeah, he's like, hey, you can't do that. And so he just fucking. <laughs> well, he, he seems to age a little bit. He He seems to have been with him for a little while. Yeah. Because when he gets there, he looks like he's. This is after uh, um, he accidentally killed a, a uh, human, human yeah. instead of a vampire in and England. his trainer told mm. him to get out. Yeah, and uh, so he had to go to America. Yep. Was it New York or Philadelphia? I, I missed that part. All I know is that he yeah. went to the Order of Tirana, uh told him some passage, and it allowed mm. him access in, and uh, ends up spent, eventually spent some times with him yeah, and then just eventually all of a sudden, ends up running it so yeah all of a sudden he's talking to the the boss's i guess girlfriend yeah. wife and she's talking about how she's beaten up or he has seen her being hit and shit mm -hmm. and uh then all of a sudden it comes back to the present four or five pages later we go back to the past and it's the two of them fighting yeah 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 it's just like no context it's just mm -hmm. all right it, but in your head, you know it's because like, he called right, her out, and yeah. or called him out and stuff. And uh, but then we say all that to get to this point. But uh, he went to go fight a vampire in America, 
and it got the best of him. He was, he still like looked like a teenager. Yeah. Even though he, I, I don't know how old he was, but, um, the vampire got the best of him, and this dude named Wolverine, or I don't no, even think this he guy, knew. He's wearing a uh, cowboy hat, long, long trench black coat. trench coat. Comes and kills the vampire, and Blade says, "I owe you one." Flash to the future, and uh, Mariah Hill got him to go hunt down Wolverine mm-hmm. because for uh, gave him amnesty, lets mm-hmm. him still hunt vampires, doesn't have to worry about being hunted by the police anymore. Yeah. The Superhuman Act, um, and then they had a fight for like a few quick pages, and it was pretty cool. Yeah, but then he like. He recognizes him, and then Blade just stops fighting altogether. And he's like, "You know what? You know what? You're uh, yeah, you're good. I'll take care of it." And I don't think Blade or Wolverine realized. No, I don't think Blade. he ever no. ever figured it out. And it took and it took me a second because when it happened, I'm like, "What is going on?" And then they revealed, and I was yeah. like, "Oh, yeah. he doesn't want him. He owes him one, and he knows that he'll kill Vamps with him, or maybe yeah. they'll team up again or something." And uh, let's not forget, Blade also had to fight Santa Claus in this Holy story. <laughs> freaking shit. Um, after, so, I forget which issue it was, but he had to go, or he was on a date with a vampire. Yeah, and she on didn't my re- date, too. He met her on Oh, yeah, it was yeah. a... Uh... Yeah, man. <laughs> Davis met his wife through Tinder, folks. Yeah. Oh, your mom watches this show. She knows. <laughs> oh, I didn't... Yeah, they I are. didn't know you had told her. Um... But yeah, uh, and so they she acts like she's they're about to get intimate. And they're mm-hmm. like in a back alley, and uh, he's like, "I know you're a vampire," and then like kills her. But a homeless man catches him, yeah. And then he gets caught by the police and all that. And uh, basically, he just goes on the run, and uh, ends up in uh, Minnesota, Pennsylvania, I think. I think. I it was Pennsylvania. Either way, I'll somewhere probably. cold as fuck, and it's it's close to Christmas. I'll have to pop up a yeah. little thing like I did. Yeah. But, um, yeah. He ends and, up in the uh, mall. he's at the mall. And, uh, he says that he has his powers had been altered to where he could sense. Yeah, he can sense, like, paranormal yeah. things. Yeah. And it was this demon that can take over people's bodies. That was freaky. That was, yeah. Ooh, really scary. <laughs> and, uh, it's in Santa Claus, and it goes to the little girl. Mm-hmm. And, but Blade doesn't want to kill these people because they're still living yeah they're not been i mean they're just being possessed they're not being actually killed or destroyed so he's trying not to do anything and this little girl is just beating the shit but the only way to kill the demon is to kill the host and that's what that whole uh issue was about it was the uh killing one life to save yep a bunch and like four people died in that store that time and blade just because he couldn't pull the trigger fast enough and the uh the demon shot the cop in the head yeah the demon uh had somebody shoot the little girl. I think it was the, the cop. The cop. And then and the then, cop shoots himself. Yeah. But then he jumps back to Santa. Yeah. Then a woman comes in and explains, what are you doing, husband? Yeah. So he jumps to another guy, yeah. literally claws that dude's eyes out Yeah. while making the comment, oh, once you get past the paint, it's kind of squishy and fun. And I'm sitting there going, holy frick. I blocked that out of my memory. I wish you wouldn't have brought it <laughs> Cause that was a fucked up scene. <laughs> Man, that whole that whole couple pages of that demon just going haywire is. Mm. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's up there. You haven't read the Sandman yet, but no. Volume One, there's a scene close to that, mm. and it's right up there mm. with that. Um, but yeah, eventually, but the whole more of that story was like you got to kill one life to save a yeah. bunch, and he eventually ends up shooting shooting Santa in the head, killing the demon. Yeah. Um, and walks out and there's just bodies yep. as he just walks out the door and you hear, and you see the sirens and mm. ooh. then you get to, uh, ish, the last issue, which is like the big reveal, for, at least for blade that this guy who just captured me yeah. is my dad. And he's got me in this room where I can't, uh, can't I have no, or no he can't feet. feed himself. He can't, he can't the give blood him blood. He had, yeah, and he has just this girl chained up. Yeah, and it's supposed to. It's a virgin girl to fulfill the prophecy that. Yeah, um, I still don't understand what like once the prophecy was filled. 
what was it supposed to do? Like, uh, I'm not 100. percent This uh, one you can tell obviously led into volume yeah, two, that's what which I'm sure yeah. at some point we'll go back and read. But uh, but yeah, uh, if you like this episode, let us yeah. know and we'll do volume two. Same yeah. with everything. If you like volume ones of stuff, let us know and we'll try to do. Yeah, we'll put in um, volume twos down the road. What I was thinking with that was, um, you know how we were looking for something just on like the rare occasions that there's five Tuesdays in a month? Yeah. Now this one coming up for August, we have Wonder Woman because yes. at the time of recording this, it's tentatively set to come out that week. Yeah, COVID, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I was thinking for the fifth month or fifth Tuesday of every month, we could just pick one that we didn't do a continuous for. And read the next Just volume. Just the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if y'all like that idea, yeah. let us know in the comments or... Or if y'all want us to put it in the monthly on rotation. On Twitter yeah. or something, Instagram, whatever. Just let us know. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, if we don't do it for the show, I'll probably just end up reading it by myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to because yeah. it was enjoyable for never reading oh, a blade yeah. and then getting to see this. And once I finally got past the... All right. The time jump, I figured out who everybody was. Mm. It was smooth. I liked the way it went. Um, the no. the illustration was a little off to me. The you could tell it the was drawing was because this was like early, uh, or not early. It was like two thousand six. Yeah, because yeah, it was around the time. Well, it would have had to be Civil War was coming War, around. Yeah. yeah, but it looks. I mean, I didn't hate it. I like. Or I thought no, the art I was didn't pretty hate good. It. it just it's just not what I'm used to no. reading in like 2018. No. Um, but it looked like someone who was still kind of drawing like the 90s and getting mm-hmm. a little bit into what we see that, more nowadays. That weird transition of we want good detail, yeah, but we're also trying to stick with the old 90s color scheme of yeah, and Blade's color scheme of we don't want bright, vibrant colors. We yeah. want him to we want it to be a dark comic, yeah, and it just there was points where you just kind of like y'all could have drawn that guy a little bit better, or yeah, a little more just, sleek. And modern. again, don't draw. These yeah, guys I are amazing. Draw for shit. Like, like this shit is still amazing that people can do this. That guy got paid to do that for a reason. It's so. just a critique. Yeah. I mean, it's my opinion. So, but um, well, yeah, because I definitely want to see uh, how this prophecy ends up. Yeah, but oh, I've I also want to see how the freaky gets his hand back. Yeah, that's what he just we didn't rips say his freaking hand off to get out of the. Yeah, he chews his hand off. The girl. That way, he doesn't have to kill the girl and then yeah. escapes from where his dad had him held captive. But and then that's how it ends. Yeah, that leads yeah. into volume two. But I've enjoyed, uh, or I've been more into stuff like this, Doctor Strange lately. I guess once you read so many superhero stories, you kind of get like the rhythm to it. Yeah, and it just becomes monotonous. But stuff like mythology or mm-hmm. magic or monsters and stuff like that, for some reason, still captures my imagination. Oh, well, yeah. So, like, um, Thor, I'm still uh, enjoying that just because that's like a whole world of Norse mythology you can get into. Yeah. Um, Doctor Strange and uh, Blade for Marvel, but then... John Constantine. Oh, dude, yeah, we're for, gonna need to throw uh, DC. him in there because yeah, is, we're gonna have to read some Hellblazer. Yeah. Um, um, but what I like about those, kind of going off your point, is like mm-hmm. you read a Batman comic, you know Batman's only gonna do up to a certain point. Yeah, he will not cross that line, mm-hmm. and Superman won't cross it. Iron Man, like they they have a line. Yeah, these guys, there is a line. You just don't know what that line is yet. Yeah. Until it happens, and you're like, "Oh, he will kill that person to do this, or he will yeah. send somebody to hell to save somebody else." And oh, yeah. it's where it's like, "All right, so what line are they going to cross? Where are they going to draw mm-hmm. it?" And it's and just it's nice, it's different. It's, in the world of magic and monsters, like superheroes have their limits pretty well defined at this point. Yeah, but when you're dealing with magic monsters and mythology, anything can happen. Anything really. goes, man. But like the demon jumping from body to body and yeah that was wild um but yeah that's uh we're coming close to time for this All episode right. um you have any final thoughts no uh like i said great issue or great series mm-hmm. um definitely want to read volume 2 
yeah. and definitely kind of want to find some other blade stuff to read. And uh, if anybody has any recommendations, send it to us. And I don't know how I don't know when I watched like um, if anybody watches Variant the YouTube yeah, uh, channel. Variant, we love you. Yeah, we like those guys, uh, Aries and. Who does who oh, does the man. podcast with him? I don't remember his name. I can I see know. his face, but yeah. I am horrible with names. Yeah, I don't listen to the podcast a whole lot, but like Yeah, I love the podcast. I've been following Ares and that channel from uh probably twenty thirteen or freshman year of college. Yeah, they started in twenty twelve and uh you got me into God, they didn't they blew yeah, up quick. They did. Ooh, well, uh, I hope we could blow up. I, would, that fast. I just listened to an episode where they were talking about a podcast. Yeah. And uh they were talking about how they got started in twenty twelve. And whether that means, like, us getting started or, yeah. like, they had stuff going yeah. and then they kind of just added this. Yeah. But, um, um, but yeah. I watched their, well, I don't know, we just went off on tangent, but yeah, I watched yeah. their uh, History of Blade. And it, make, it seems like it's just hard for him to keep, like, getting an ongoing series. I don't know. If he, Which if people start reading it. I guess it's the whole vampire thing maybe getting played out or. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Just because, kind of like, zombies were really cool around Walking Dead, and then now yeah, and I don't think anyone could make a zombie anything for a while, just because. I mean, that show kind of kind of cornered that shit. Yeah, the show kind of uh slowly killed it out. To be honest, I don't know, but um, but yeah. Uh, so next week we've got oh one of my favorite characters, yeah. uh, Red Hood. We're doing. Volume one of the New Fifty Two, Red Hood and the Outlaws, uh, and I love that series. Um, I just, well, we'll get into it next episode, yeah. but that's one of my favorite characters. So, um, I guess that's it for today. Glad to be back recording. Yeah, uh, man, glad to be back in it, and uh, hope y'all keep yeah. staying with us, and hopefully our numbers grow. Yeah, come mm-hmm. on now. The more people, the more we can do, and yeah. So, um, but yeah, we'll see y'all next week. All right. Bye. See you.